Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a man Whitney U test using Jupyter Notebook and I'm using Python 3. Uh, I'll, not, I'll also show how to do the exact version of this test using Python, which uh, cannot be done to my knowledge with the SciPy package, so I'll be using another package for that. The man Whitney U test uh, is often used if you want to see um, between two categories if they score different on an ordinal variable. Uh, it usually does this by comparing so-called ranks or pseudo ranks and uh, that's just something what you get by sorting everything and then giving it uh, a rank uh, going from low to high and to some extent uh, th there are some dealing with ties in there as well but we'll, we'll let the calculations over for Python itself. Uh, to actually do this, I'll need an example and I'll be loading that as a pandas data frame So I'll be needing to import pandas. If you never install that, you can use pip install pandas to install it Shift enter and there's no output here because it just imports some uh, imports pandas Then I can use read CSV that's from pandas uh, to actually read the, the file and It's about student statistics, which was a survey among students the head shows the first five uh, respondents, so starting with zero, so it should end with four, so you get a little bit of an idea of the data. Um, the, the variable that I'm interested in is the mix of number of activities, and for the groups I'll be using the gender. The mix number of activities was actually text in this case, and I can see that by using values counts which uh, shows me if I use the mixed number of activities it simply shows me how many there were and these were the options they could choose from now that these are not in the correct order is not so important because what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace uh, these with numbers because it has to be integers so I'm going to replace them using a so-called dictionary so far too little becomes one too little two enough three too much four and far too much five um, you can also do this the other way to around 5 to 1, but at least then the numbers are in a good order. So that's my coding, and then I can use the replace function to actually replace all those uh, text scores by that 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. So just mixed number of activities, that's the field, and replace it with my coding. And just to see how that works, I have to values counts again, so I can actually see results and as you can see now it has one two three four and five in there so that looks slightly better now for the nominal variable I'll be using gender and just to have a quick impression there and there were 34 males and 12 females now um, and those were the only two options apparently so we can create a list of booleans because I need to separate the scores based on these two categories in this case so I'll be uh, saying if it's equal to male and if it's equal to female the gender category then uh, that's going to be category one and two and just to show the result of the first category the males that gives me a whole list of uh, booleans so false or true then I can use that to actually uh, get the scores itself so I use the ordinal uh, one and then my category one so it will actually have a false or a true, if it's true it includes it, if it's false it excludes it. So let's do that. And then to finally perform that um, man Whitney U test, well like I mentioned the SciPy package is quite popular and has a function for a man Whitney U test, although it has two limitations. It's so-called asymptotic only and there's no Z value. The asymptotic means it's doing a Z approximation and in their own documentation I think it mentions that that's fine as long as you have 20 or more uh, data points. For smaller ones that leaves a problem. The second point is that it doesn't return the Z value itself where it's basing all the tests on which usually is needed for the results. In the appendix of this document which I'll also upload in the description below um, I'll deal with how you can still get that Z value if you want to use the SciPy package. Now here I'll be using a pi non-parametric uh, uh, package and that actually does all the work for me so if you've never used that before you might want to use pip install 
uh, and then simply load it and then specifically load the two sample and I'm going to import that man with me you test which also has the Will Coxon which for some reason sometimes is referred to it as well like that but that's a whole history lesson on this where this test came from to use this function we need to convert our panda series so there are two cat scores one and cat scores two to a list which can simply be done by simply using the list and I'm just going to call that my list one and my list two then finally uh, we can get the two sample Wilcox and Man Whitney U test I enter my two list and as a method exact uh, it's going to use a 0.05 uh, for alpha so for the significance level you might get a warning like this one uh, which is about a depreciation that might occur in the future so and if you then run it a second time it usually uh, removes that whole warning so this might not work uh, in a few years anymore or hopefully they update the package as well to make it possible now these results there's quite a lot uh, I've done a two-sided test because that's the default um, the statistic here is the uh, man with the u value itself and the last one I'm actually interested in is the last value which is in this case zero uh, actually it's uh, just b just above zero so it's probably going to be point zero 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 something and um, this p-value indicates that if it's below 0.05 usually that well uh, it's not exact but then the two categories will have scored different on their ordinal scales in this case they will have had a different opinion on the number of activities a bit more formal it's a chance of a result in as in the sample or even more extreme if the assumption about the population were true and for the man with the U test it's the assumption is that they have the same distribution uh, I think in the ranks uh, in this example it was very low it wasn't 0.004 I should change that that's actually uh, it was uh, 0, 0, 0, something like that perhaps even more zeros uh, so then we can actually reject that uh, assumption and therefore the distributions are not equal now if I didn't want to use the exact version I can simply use asymptotic as a method or leave it out because it is the default in this function and then you actually get as a statistic you then get the corresponding Z value in the appendix I will show how you can um, get this these results also with the scipy function um, and uh, I also have how you can do it a little bit more by hand as it were if you really want to go into it but I'm not going to go into that in this video because I would like to keep my video short and simple if you're really interested in that I suggest you to download the Jupyter notebook where I'll simply go over all of this um, and you can then read it slowly by yourself I'll show you how this all of this can actually be done by hand and with the uh, SciPy package. All right, I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you have any comments or suggestions for improvement, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.